Brought to you by businessblueprint.com.au Hi, I'm Dale Beaumont. I'm the author of 16 best-selling books and the creator of Business Blueprint. You're about to step inside one of our live seminars called The New Rules of Business. And you're about to discover a range of tactics and strategies to help you to grow your business faster and easier than ever before. So enjoy the video and we'll talk again soon. When it comes to, so keywords, you all understand what keywords are. They're the things that people are searching for. Now, even though we call them keywords, they're not actually normally one word. Like swimming lessons Brisbane is one key word even though it's got three words in it. Does that make sense? And so what you want to do is you want to rank for the things that people are searching for and as many different things as you can. Now, most website developers actually know nothing about search engine optimization. They just know about building websites. And so normally what they do at the top, sometimes they, they just leave the default. And at the top it says, welcome to another WordPress website. So what happens? Google can't actually find your stuff because they don't even know what your stuff is about. Now, if, they, they, if, they, if the website developer knows a little bit, they might change it and put the name of your company there, Financeability, as an example. But again, who is searching for a company that don't yet know exists? And unless you change that, it goes across every single page on your website. Does that make sense? And so again, you've got one doorway of how people can find you and it's that narrow. So what you want to do is you want to forget about the name of your business. Maybe your About Us page, you can optimize for that particular keyword. But every other page on your website should be optimized for keywords. Now here's the thing. You don't want to put lots of keywords in there. Because if you had like a horse riding shop, and you had horse riding shoes, horse riding saddles, horse riding clothes, horse riding um, classes, etc etc and at the, your, your title tag which is the thing at the top if you had seven different things what is Google sort of thinking to itself if you do seven different things you must not be very specialized in any one of them you got like a split personality disorder you don't know who you are so if you don't know who you are how can we possibly know who you are so what happens is they probably will put you in the in their, in their search engines under those different terms, but you're not going to be on page one because you're so broad, you might be on page 10, 20, 30, or 40. Does that make sense? So if you do want to rank for a number of different keywords, what should you do? You have a different page per keyword. So if you want to rank for two different keywords, you have two pages. One optimized for this, one optimized for that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your keyword and you're going to put it into a few different locations, which I'll tell you about in a sec. So when Google finds your page, they go, your title tag has the keyword, your meta tags has the keyword, your, your headline has the keyword, your body copy has the keyword, your video contains the keyword, even your image. There's a photo. Now, most people label their, they don't change the label of their photos, and so when they come out of the camera, what are they called? DX5432. But imagine if the photo, you click enter and you change the label of the photo to horse dash riding dash shoes. And so if they go, everything here is about horse riding shoes. It's highly focused. It must be all about that. So therefore, if people are looking for relevant information, we'll put that way up the list for horse riding shoes. Because the, this page is only about that one thing. Hi, I'm Dale Beaumont. I'm the guy you've been watching in the video just there. And I'd like to give you the chance to connect on an ongoing basis. If you've enjoyed what you've learned and you'd like to learn more, then please head to our website. The address is www.businessblueprint.com.au. That's businessblueprint.com.au. I look forward to connecting with you more there and helping you to build a stronger and more profitable business. Brought to you by businessblueprint.com.au